to two practices then for you? Two, sure. two. Yeah. 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 Only had one. It felt like two. <laughs> but uh, no, it was good. You know, good energy. Uh, we figuring things out. Trying to uh, but it was a good day. Uh, get some time to rest and come back for the second one. You know, chemistry is really an interesting thing. You know, how long do you think it'll take you to kind of feel like you, you know everything in the system and your team? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, we taking day by day. Uh, we figuring each other out, figuring out what we're doing. Um, and we'll figure that out throughout the That's what the season's for. We know we got one ultimate goal, and that's to win the championship. And, and through that process, it's going to be adversity. We're just going to make sure that throughout it, we stay connected, stay communicating with each other. Hey, uh, Anthony, just wondering how the off season you you actually had the four months this time after having the two last time. Can you feel that already? Like in, in the first practice, can you is your body starting to feel in a different way as you as you head into the season? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Um, it's not just me. I think all of us. Yeah. All of us feel great. We feel good. We're flying up and down the floor. Um, where we kind of took it slow last year um, because we had that short off season. But um, me personally, I feel great. Body feels great. Um, I'm ready to go. And then Russ, just to, to kind of follow up on that, all the ideas that you had, right, about this team and talking to AD, talking to LeBron, once you actually get on the floor and the team concept, like how much of what you thought might be out there are you seeing in that? Uh, I, see, I see a lot more now, uh, <laughs> a lot more things that we can do with each other and just, you know, so many different options. And, man, we're going to figure it out. I just can't wait to get on the floor uh, when the season starts, you know, with these guys and just have fun. You know, ultimately, that's the ultimate goal. When you play this game, a lot of times people get caught up in all the, hoopla and everything else and forget to have fun. And the ultimate goal is to have fun with each other, create a brotherhood and, and win a championship. All right, Kyle. Uh, Russ, uh, yesterday Rondo said that uh, when you guys are on the floor, you guys want to destroy each other. Uh, how, how do you see that competitive level manifest in this practice uh, throughout the whole roster, not just you two? And I think it's good, man. We got a bunch of guys in this league that's been competing for a long time. And it's the reason why a lot of these guys are all the femers. And, uh, competing and being and having a competitive spirit is a part of our practice, it's part of our DNA. It's going to be a part of our team and our mindset and, and, and pushing each other each and every day. Any fiery moments today in particular? Or? Every day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's what we do. I mean, every that, day. That's how we get better, yeah. just competing against each other and talking shit and all that. So, yeah. you know, um, that's, that's, that's what we are. We got a lot of shit talking on the team. So Starting with you. No, no. no. <laughs> so it's going to be a great year for sure. Dan? Do you sing all your trash talk? No, you <laughs> <laughs> I was one night only. That's it. No one, night. <laughs> one, tenor. one night only. When I would tell you, I might go on tour, but uh, no. no. What, what do you think? Um, that wasn't my real question. Uh, what, do you, what do you think defensively the identity of this team can be? I know you guys lost a lot of kind of defensive-minded players and stuff like that. How is that going to change? Um, you know, myself, Russ, Braun, Doe, Dwight, DJ, you know, Taylor, K9, like, we got some defensive minded guys and guys who want to play defense. Um, and it kind of just base and it, it goes, you know, official to our schemes that we've been doing, you know, the past couple of years, just, you know, trying to be a defensive minded team, being the number one defense in the league. And, uh, you know, even though we lost those guys, we can get back to our, our ways. Um, and even the guys that um, over the years been known as, you know, struggling on defense, you know, buying to the system, you know, uh, helping them having their backs and, and coming together as one on the defensive end. Russ, but I, I think we can be a great I was going to say, is it, what is it like as a defensive guard knowing you've got AD on the court, knowing that maybe it's AD and Dwight or AD and Yeah, Dwight. I mean, it's a luxury. We actually was talking about it today on just changing my mind mentality, um, you know, having those guys as a, uh, you know, just a, a, a blanket in the back that you can always count on and it's just do my job and make sure I get into the ball and uh, defend to the best of my ability. And I know those guys are going to have my back just like I have theirs. And another thing on that, it, it gives our guards, you know, more confidence to, to pressure the ball knowing that we back there, you know. So the more we can, as bigs, you know, kind of anchor the defense, it gives them enough confidence to go out there and smother the ball. Dave? Um, Russ, do you prefer Russell or Russell? Uh, Russ is cool. Russell, yeah. Okay. So um, you play with one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, Russell? Russ or Russell? Oh. They said, have you heard of Russell Russell? No, 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 no. I've never heard of that. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't, I, I, like, I didn't know who that was. So you don't like Anthony? <laughs> don't yeah, Anthony. I don't like Anthony. Yeah, we don't play yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Russ, uh, you played with one of the best seven footers of all time, Kevin Durant. Um, what type of seven footer is. is well, I'm not seven foot, so I don't know. Big man. Yeah, I mean. Just the thought of getting to play. Yeah, I mean, you know, AD is a special talent, and, you know, obviously 
the whole world knows it and you know the league knows it uh, one of a kind there's nobody like him that can do everything that he able to do at his size and um, my job is to make sure I continue to push him each day uh, each practice each game so he can be uh, at the top of his game each and every night uh, you know he, he's he, he's been in this league a long time so he understands how to play the game he knows uh, when he needs to turn up and I, I know now he wants to turn up so it's my job to make sure that um, that that's up every single night and AD how do you take it um, from a teammate for us or you know Rajon when he was here we talked about that too like him someone who kind of you know is trying to encourage you um, push you how do you receive that from teammates um I mean, it's good. You know, I like teammates who's going to push me. Um, they're encouraging. I, just, I don't need to be encouraged. I, I don't. I want to be pushed. You know what I'm saying? Like I want. I want guys to, you know, tell me when I'm messing up. Um, me and Russ had numerous conversations just in this first practice alone. You know about things that we can do together as a as a um, as a duo. Um, we're both on the floor, so um, you know that's what I want. And, and I got six, seven guys that's doing that. Russ, Braun, Doe, Mel, DJ, Dwight. Like I got. Numerous guys that's, you know, always in my ear about things. So, um, you, know, you, I, you can't ask for, for more, you know, as a player to, you know, who wants to get better. All right, we'll do the last two. We'll start with Bill. Hey, guys. Um, whenever superstars get together, you know, sacrifice gets thrown around a lot as a term. What does that mean with this group? I mean, in what ways do each of you need to adjust your games or, or what, what kind of sacrifices do you see yourselves making to, to make this all have the ultimate payoff. Um, we just in this first practice, we <laughs> we passed up a lot of shots, you know, to to find the next guy, and uh, you know that might be over sacrificing, but you know we trying to make the right plays. Um, but I, I don't think anyone on this team have an ego. Um, no one on this team is, is trying to be selfish, and you know it, it looks good on the floor for the first day. You know, guys are, are doing the right things, making the right plays, and uh, most importantly, guys are coming to work. Um, you know, this is a this was a great first couple hours of practice, and um, you know I think you know sacrifice is going to be huge for us, and and we talked about it yesterday. We talked about it this morning, um, and it's shown in the first practice. All right, we'll end with the Obama. Hey Russ, um, you've had a lot of success in the pick and roll in your career, uh, but doing so without playing with an All Star center. Now that you're playing with AD, what type of weapon is that for you in the pick and roll, and just kind of the chemistry that you guys have had? It's the ultimate weapon. You know, you got the you got the ultimate weapon. Um, it's my job is to utilize it uh, the best of my ability to make sure that you know AD and Brian, whoever's in the pick and roll, are um, put in positions to be successful. Um, that's a part of my job. And like AD mentioned, we've had many conversations today and passed up open shots and looks in different ways where we can make the game easy for each other. Um, and that's you know strictly what we're trying to do. And uh, with that comes sacrifice and figuring out the best solution for the team.